We're going to go to the basic theory on mixtures. We're going to cover basic concepts. Right? Mixtures questions are of two types. I'm going to deal with, deal with one type first and then go to the next one. Simple weighted average type. Right? Let's look at this question and then we'll build it from there. One buys 10 kilograms of rice at rupees 40 per kilogram and 15 kilograms of rice at rupees 50 per kilogram. What is the overall cost per kilogram of rice? You're buying 10 kilograms at rupees 40 per kilogram and we are buying 15 kilograms at rupees 50 per kilogram. What will be the overall cost per kilogram of rice? So 10 kilogram at 40 per kilogram, 15 kilogram at 50 per kilogram. So this will be the total cost 10 into 40 plus 15 into 50 that will be the total cost of the rice that we have bought. Now this total cost is for a total purchase of 25 kilograms. You're buying 10 and then 15, 25 totally. 10 into 40 plus 15 into 50 divided by 25. Or this is 400 plus 750 by 25, which is 1150 by 25. This is nothing but 46. Or the overall average cost per kilogram is rupees 46. It's a classic weighted averages question. You're given the average cost or the normal cost of two different groups. There are weightages attached to it. What do I mean by that? You're buying rice at 40, rice at 50. Fine. And we want the overall average. How many kilograms are you buying at rice at 40? 10 kgs. How many at rice at 50? 15 kgs. So the weightages attached are 10 and 15. So if you have two averages A1 and A2 with weightages W1 and W2 attached to them, overall average is W1A1 plus W2A2 by W1 plus W2. We cover this in depth in the averages topic. It's a very simple idea. Right? So this we have got. Now we're going to shift out to the next type of question. Okay? This is a question where you have to find the ratio given the average. Think about how to do that. Ram, let's read this question and then we'll build from there. Ram bought 10 kilograms of rice, picking from two varieties of rice. One cost rupees 40 per kilogram, other cost rupees 50 per kilogram. If overall cost is rupees 440, how much rupees 40 per kg rice did Ram buy? He's buying at 40, he's buying at 50. His overall cost is 440. If you had bought all 10 kilograms at, at 40, your, his cost would have been 400. If you had bought all 10 at 50, his cost would have been 500. His cost is 440. So he's buying some of this and some of this. His cost is 440 for 10 kilograms. So I'm going to think about the average number or his average cost is 44. 440 by 10. He's buying rice at 40, he's buying rice at 50 and the average cost is rupees 44. Now we need to find how much he has bought at rupees 40 per kilogram, how much at rupees 50 per kilogram. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this old fashioned algebraic fashion. Right? Think about how we would do this. You're buying rice at rupees 40 per kilogram price at rupees 50 per kilogram. Let's say you buy X kilograms at this price, Y kilograms at this price. Now, if you're buying X kilograms at this price and Y kilograms at this price, total cost would be 40 X plus 50 Y. This is the total cost. Now, this total cost is given to be 440. I'm gonna think in terms of average cost. Average cost is 40 X plus 50 Y divided by x plus y, this is given to be 44. With this, we can simplify and find x and y. Right? 40x plus 50y is 440. That is one way of thinking about it. Or 40x plus 50y by x plus y is 44. That is another way of thinking about it. 40x plus 50y is 45. x plus y is 10. Solve these two and then you are through. It's a very standardized template in this entire topic on mixtures given two quantities that are being mixed. And if you know the average, tell me in what ratio they have been mixed. So with this, we can find in what ratio they have been mixed. We can solve this and find the answer. So you know that 40x plus 50y is 440. x plus y is 10 or we can say 40x plus 40y is 400. I'm just multiplying by 40 or we get 10y equals 40, y is 4. If y is 4, x should be 6. We bought 6 kilograms of 
at, at this price and 4 kilograms at this price to end up with this kind of cost structure. Very simple idea. We're doing it very algebraically and then simplifying. Right? There is absolutely no joy in doing this. This is we know how to plug in X and Y and solve something. Right? So we're not going to do that. We're going to do this with fancy other method called as allegation method. What is this? What is this new thing that we are we are springing upon now? Think about. I'm going to lay out the template and discuss what is the mechanics behind this allegation method. How do we do this? Why this allegation method works? What is the funda behind it? We'll worry about later on. We'll get the mechanics right, then go to the funda. Okay. Now let's think about the mechanics. We're mixing 40 and 50 to get 44. Right. So this method is called the method of allegation, or we, this other term you'll hear frequently is cross differences. Right. All fancy terms. You don't really need any of these terms. A very simple idea. You're mixing 40 and 50 to get 44. In what ratio should one mix 40 and 50 to get 44? Very simple. Just write down the difference between these two numbers. 50 minus 44 here. Write down the difference between these two numbers, which is 44 minus 40 here. This is 6. This is 4. The ratio in which they should have been mixed is 3. 6 is to 4. Or 3 is to 2. Couple of simple things to note here. Measure this difference, write it this side. This difference, this is right that side. That is why it's called as cross differences. Second thing, you will get the answer as a ratio and not as actual values. So the ratio in which these two are mixed are 3 is to 2. You could mix 3 kilograms of this and 2 kilograms of that or 30 and 20 or 600 and 400. It doesn't matter. The ratio is 3 is to 2. When given two numbers, and given the weighted average, we can figure out the ratio in which they are mixed. That's the idea we're doing here. Why this method works? What is so juicy about this method? Fine. That we'll come to later on. I'm going to capture this digitally. So this difference is 6, which goes here. This difference is 4, this goes here. The ratio is 6 is to 4. Or if we mix these two in the ratio, 3 is to 2, we'll get this number. If 40 and 50 are mixed in the ratio, 3 is to 2, we will get 44 as the weighted average. Given 44, how do I find out 3 is to 2? One is the old-fashioned boring algebraic way. The other is this, this, this fatafat allegation method. Plug this in. Get some practice on just plugging in this. Then we'll discuss about why this works. What is the funda behind this allegation method? Why do we just subtract some random numbers and a ratio comes about? Right? So what is sitting underneath this cross differences method? That we'll hit sooner or later.